What's up, Internet? It's your soul here, and I'm going to be taking you on a bit of a dive down into this Jeffrey Epstein map, which is growing by the day. More and more data being put on here. Um, it's going to be something that I'm going to be returning to very regularly to do this because it, I mean, it, <laughs> it's just such a massive, massive story and so much going on in here. But I want to take you into this bottom piece, which I recently added in here Barbara Walters, Corey Feldman. This was brought to my attention recently. I, you may remember that Corey Feldman was a child actor uh, a long time ago who's now an adult who came out not so long ago basically saying that Hollywood was full of child abusing pedophiles and his life was at risk and a lot of information about that kind of thing. And he hasn't actually, as far as I know, really dropped many names in terms of who he was accusing. Instead, he went out and tried to raise loads of money to make a documentary. And that's brought him some negative press, people saying, you know, he's just in it for the money. I don't really know the truth of that. I don't know exactly what his motives are, whether he's legitimate or not. It seems a bit, it seems a, a heck of a risk to take to, um, you know, potentially risk being ostracized from nearly every community there is if you're found out to be lying about such a thing like this. So, you know, I would definitely be open to the possibility that he's saying the truth. But what I find interesting here is that uh, he actually, one of the main videos relating to this is from uh, a sort of sit-down talk show event where he was sitting next to Barbara Walters, who is now 89 years old. This is a few years old, this, this video. Uh, and she, you know, being from Britain, she's not somebody that I really know at all. But reading through her page on Wikipedia here, you can see that she um has had a very long career in presenting tv shows and so on interviewing very many big names world leaders celebrities and so on uh, over multiple decades and the reason why she came to my attention is that she is the person that roy Cohn, uh basically who was homosexual basically said was his wife and apparently even in the wikipedia page in here uh, if we search for Cohn. It says here, she dated lawyer Roy Cohn in college. He said that he proposed marriage to Walters the night before her wedding to Lee Goober, but Walters denied this. She explained her lifelong devotion to Cohn as gratitude for his help in her adoption of her daughter, Jacqueline, in her autobiography. Walters says she also felt grateful to Cohn because of his legal assistance to her father. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Um, Walters testified as a character witness at Cohn's 1986 disbarment trial. So... Cohn was not just a lawyer, uh, that stereotypical Wikipedia kind of tinted roses <laughs> version of events. Um, if we look here at Roy Cohn, you can basically see um, all these different people that he's connected to, um, various different characters that he was involved apparently with blackmailing or that he was working with in terms of blackmail. Uh, and, you know, there's lots of testimony of him being a big sex parties uh, and basically you know he was homosexual and he he was part of the mccarthy era witch hunt for communists and also then went on a similar rampage for homosexuals clearing them out of the government when he himself was homosexual uh, many people said that he was the most evil person they'd ever met and he was eventually disbarred for fraud trying to disfraud his friend as i understand it on his deathbed um yeah really not a nice person at all apparently he had blackmail material on jay Hoover. really a power monger he was a mentor of Donald Trump. There's lots of pictures of those two guys together. So the fact that he, I'm a sexual, basically said that Barbara Walters was the closest to a wife that he ever came, kind of thing, and it says on Wikipedia that he proposed to her, which she denies. You know, I don't know the truth of all of that, but she's very close to him. So he is one of the main um, characters historically in uh, industrial scale child abuse slash blackmail operations, from what I can understand, based on some of the work by Whitney Webb on the Mint Press. Uh, web pages, Impress News, and just according to numerous different sources. It's obviously it's hard to prove these things, but there's lots of evidence that says we need to be looking at him anyway and, and his connections. And the fact that he was so connected to her, I mean, she seems to be possibly the most significant woman in his life, which, you know, is not, not a small thing, is it? And it just so happens that she sat next to Corey Feldman when this happened. I'm saying that there are people that were the people that did this to both me and Corey yeah. that are still working, they're still out there, and they're some of the richest, most powerful people in this business. And they are. And they do not want me saying what I'm saying right now. 
Are, are you saying that they're pedophiles? Yes. And that yes. they're still in this business? Yes. Oh. That's what, yeah, and that's what you were saying well, in your book. When you talk you to, talk about, yeah. when yeah. you talk to and parents, they want me here right now. Trust Corey, me, they want there, me dead. there are a lot of parents out here yeah. who want to put their kids in this, in this business. They, their kids are cute. They're great actors. Da, da, da. What would you say to a parent who just has the best of intentions who's coming here with their child? Mm -hmm. If um, you're saying that there's a lot of predators in this industry. It's a many feathered bird. OK, be careful what you wish for. That's what I'll tell you. You know, don't go into it with naivety. Don't go into it thinking that it's all roses and You're sunglasses. You're damaging and an entire industry. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to. That... I'm just trying to say that it's a very important, serious topic. So her response, Barbara Walters, who sat there to his right, response to him informing her that there are serious child abusers and that the uh, entertainment industry, let's say, is not exactly safe for children. And he's saying, I grew up in that. I saw abuse all around. Her response is, you're damaging an entire industry. As if she has no compassion, no care for the abuse that's taken place, no anything. It feels to me like a warning, if anything. It feels to me like she's had time to process what he's saying. She's realized the threat to her and people potentially that she's associated with. And so she can't think of anything to say other than an attack, which is you're damaging an entire industry. Like, how dare you? <laughs> I don't even know what to say about it. How how dare you risk the income of people in my industry by telling the world that some of them rape children? It's, it's really a, a quite disturbing response from her. And I just found it very interesting, as I said, that she was so closely associated with Roy Cohn, who's already been highly identified as being involved in, during the time of her main career, involved in blackmail operations, um, taking politicians and probably photographing them in compromising positions, that kind of thing. I can't personally prove that. Uh, if you look through the sources linked from Mint Press News, you will see that there are significant uh, books, publications, mainstream media pieces, history associated with this that backs up that observation. I'm not accusing Barbara Walters of being anything to do with that, but I do know that it's well known that in America, many, if not most of the well-known talk show hosts, for example, are CIA trained, CIA operatives. Um, I'm not going to go through all of those now, but you can check that up on your own if you like. It's very well known. So I wouldn't be even remotely surprised if she was as well. And, you know, maybe she knows more than you might think she does. So anyway, just another data point as this map gets constructed. It's almost difficult to count how many uh, other data points so-called there are on here that are interesting. And I'll be releasing more uh, over the coming days and filling this out more. And eventually this whole map will be available for the public to uh, to use and learn from. So as always, if you've liked this video, if you found it useful and helpful, if it's taught you something, then please do consider giving me an upvote, a like, uh, re-steam, re-share, so on. Uh, share this on with your friends onto various social networks. Uh, my work is quite censored on Google, for example. My website just doesn't appear in Google at all, even though it appears in Bing and other social networks at the top of where it should appear for certain keywords. In Google, it just doesn't appear anywhere. So if you want this information to be known by more people, please do take a few moments out of your day just to pass this on to people. It will really help. And as always, if you've got any comments, let me know below. And uh, until next time, peace.